Well, Steve, here we are Quayside, and, and this is really coming to grips with a, a key element in the history and archaeology of Monmouth, isn't it? Yeah. The river's key to so many things. Well, that's right. It, it's an artery up, right up to Hereford and Hale and Wye, really. Yeah. But certainly here, there, there were not only um, uh, lots of trading on the river, uh, there was boat building as well. That's, that, that, that's interesting, isn't big it? Boats, big yeah, yeah, boats. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not little rowing boats. These things were up to three or four hundred tons. Yeah. Um, mine, they had to, they were launched below the Y here. Right. And um, uh, well, the last one turned over with the Mayor and Corporation on board. Oh, well. But, uh, <laughs> but there were trolls here uh, right up until fairly recently. Um, but also, of course, the, um, it was uh, uh, where you could load up things for, for taking further down to Bristol. Of course, yeah. Uh, and uh, so the bark trade was very, very important here in Monmouth. Yeah. Uh, but also the iron slag. Course. Yes. Monmouth was practically built on, on uh, Roman and medieval iron, iron working. Yeah, there's quite a lot of iron slag just up here, isn't there? That's it, all across here. Well, it stops about here because this is the end of the town. Mm -hmm. But behind us here, there's three or four metres of slag still under the ground. Right. Uh, despite the fact that they, they were digging it out by the hundreds of tons of badly during the post medieval times. Uh, for reuse, yeah. That's it, they yeah. found that there was a lot of iron in, in, the, uh, yes. in the slag. And uh, so they they were re recycling it. Um, it swallowed up one of the one of the uh, arches of the bridge. Oh right. So there's oh, an yeah. arch underneath the underneath the um, the traffic lights. Well, well. <laughs> but what we did find when when they were doing some water works here and and sewage works, that some of the sections showed all the slag tipping down into the river. Right. And then as they were working, we found. It was going the other way, mm -hmm. and we were finding things like this. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Late 1600s. This is a German stone. Yes, there. yes. And this dates the the digging of the slag. Yeah. Uh, which is very nice. It filled in with this sort of rubbish. Remarkable. The hole Remarkable. Yeah. Been, yeah. Must have been a great big, um, like an open cast mine, really. Yeah. And uh, backfilled with, with rubbish yeah. of the right period. That's, that's, that's fascinating, and of course, the 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 river is an industrial artery. That's that's an important concept, but. There have also been some, some quite interesting visitors and things, haven't there? Oh, yes. One of the famous ones, of course, was, uh, was Nelson. Uh -huh. yes. who, um, who say, he came here really to look at the oaks in the Forest of Dean and, yes. and the Wye Valley. Uh, and uh, he stayed at Monmouth for, right. uh, for a day or two. Yeah. And he tied up just down here. Was, That's it, yes, yes, tied up here. Um, no, the, the, you can see some of the things here, the rings on the, on the wall here. Yeah, indeed, here. one just here, uh, yeah. And, and the, the stone there, 1839, uh -huh. that's of course a bit after Nelson, but uh, um, he came here in bed, well, not long before Trafalgar, I think, mm. with Lady Hamilton. So that was important. It's important today, of course, the, the, Nelson, uh, the Nelson visit and the, and, and the Nelson Museum.